Hey, hello everyone. Today we're gonna start pretty much talking about different types of techniques and everything to help you along your journey as being an empath. But before we do that, you have to find out if you really are one or not. And you have to remember that some of the questions that are gonna be asked are definitely, you could say, are subjective. So we're all humans and nobody's perfect. So I'm gonna take the um, empath self-assessment test with you. And from there, you're gonna help calculate your results to see if you are either an empath or just a highly sensitive person or none of the above. So the thing that I want you to do is go get a piece of paper, put this on pause, and then once you get that piece of paper and pen or pencil, come back and then start the video. So from here, I'm going to read the questions that are from Dr. Judith um, Orloff. And then from there, you mark simple either, um, let's see, let me see if there's anything I have to say. If you, okay, just either yes or no, that's it. You don't have to write anything else. Just, so if the question pertains to you, just put a check or an X. You don't have to even write down the question if you don't want to. And it's just 20 questions. Okay, so here we go. Have I been labeled as overly sensitive, shy, or introverted? This is question one. Just put either a yes or no, or a check or an X. I'll read it again. Have I been labeled as overly sensitive, shy, or introverted? Number two, do I frank, frequently get overwhelmed or anxious? Do I frequently get overwhelmed or anxious? Along with the questions, if you need to pause the video, just pause it. I'm gonna read each question twice. Do arguments or yelling make me ill? Do arguments or yelling make me ill? I could elaborate about that, but I want you to look at that from your own perspective and answer 100% honestly and truthfully. This is all just for you. Number four, do I often feel I don't fit in? Do I often feel I don't fit in? Number five, am I drained by crowds and need alone time to revive myself? Am I drained by crowds and need alone time to revive myself? Six, am I overstimulated by noise, odors, or nonstop talkers? Am I overstimulated by noise, odors, or nonstop talkers? The funny thing is there's a truck in the background, so I could have waited to do this, but I kind of did it on purpose to see how you feel when you hear the background noise. Okay, number seven. Do I have chemical sensitivities or can't tolerate scratchy clothes? Do I have chemical sensitivities or can't tolerate scratchy clothes? Number eight. Do I prefer taking my own car places so I can leave early if I need to. Do I prefer taking my own car places so I can leave early if I need to? Number nine, do I overeat to cope with stress? Do I overeat to cope with stress? Number nine, Am I afraid of being suffocated by intimate relationships? Am I afraid of being coming suffocated by intimate relationships? So I'll read one more time since I messed it up. Am I afraid of becoming suffocated by being in intimate relationships? Number 11, do I startle easily? Do I startle easily? 12, do I react strongly to caffeine or medications? 
Do I react strongly to caffeine or medications? 13. Do I have a low pain threshold? Do I have a low pain threshold? This might be physically and externally. So, you know, think about that. 14. Do I tend to socially isolate? Do I tend to socially isolate? 15. Do I absorb other people's stress, emotions, and symptoms? Do I absorb other people's stress, emotions, or symptoms? Should be emotions, right? 16. Am I overwhelmed by multitasking and prefer doing one thing at a time? Am I overwhelmed by multitasking and prefer doing one thing at a time. 17. Do I replenish myself in nature? Do I replenish myself in nature? 18. Do I need a long time to recuperate after being with difficult people or energy vampires? Do I need a long time to recuperate after being with difficult people or energy vampires? 19. Do I feel better in small cities or in the country than large cities? Do I feel better in small cities or the country than large cities? And the last one is 20. Do I prefer one-on-one -on -one interactions or small groups rather than large gatherings? Do I prefer one-on-one -on -one interactions or small groups rather than large gatherings. Okay, so from here, I'll read how to calculate your results. Okay, if you answer yes to one of the five questions, you're at least partially an empath. If you answer yes to one to five questions, you're at least partially an empath. Responding yes to six to 10 questions means you have moderate empathic tendencies. Responding yes to six to 10 questions means you have moderate empathic tendencies. Responding yes to 11 to 15 means you have strong empathic tendencies. Responding yes to 11 to 15 means you have strong empathic tendencies. And answering yes to more than 15 means that you are a full-blown empath. Answering yes to more than 15 questions means that you are full-blown empath. So, you know, after taking this test, remember with each question, be totally honest, brutally honest with yourself. And just after you take the test, and you find the results, just sit quietly and see how you feel after taking this test. If anything, it should be a relief, especially if this is all new to you because now you have some sense of direction, you have some answers, and this is really important because we all have to have a starting place, right? Wherever you are, that's where you begin. So now that you have an idea, you have something to work with. And with the questions, I didn't give you any of my input because everybody's different. I didn't wanna give anybody some thing to either think of or go off of. I wanted each question to be pretty much pure and I wanted it to be where you could react 100% in, instinctively to your answers. And this is important because once you know now, you have an idea. Of course, there's a million other questions you could be asked, but these are a good basis to give you an idea whether you are or aren't an empath. So from here, we'll take certain questions and certain comments that people leave, and I'll do separate videos to work on each thing that will help you in the future. So um, hopefully this was helpful, and um, please, 
you know, leave some comments below because that will help me see what you know people are looking for and help them. If you like the content that I leave on YouTube, please leave a like. Whether it's a thumbs up or thumbs down, doesn't matter. Any interaction is good, and um, we'll take it from here. So this is the the first you could say episode of a series of episodes, uh, a series of videos to help you as an empath. I did write a book called A Warrior in the World, Spiritual Samurai, and it's just pretty much about life in general, but I'm not here to create courses or make money off of anybody. I'm here to really just help people, and that's, that's my ultimate goal. So if you find the videos helpful, Please just let me know in the comments and today is just the beginning, right? It's a new year, so after you go through these questions, let them resonate with you for today and just see how you feel from each one, even though it's just a yes or no answer. And the thing that could help you too is with each question, you could pause the video and write down what you think and feel from those questions and how you can relate to them. And this will help open up a whole pathway of things to come. All right. So thank you everybody for tuning in and I will talk to you soon.